Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Welcome to all to this first day of our Bible study according to Katena Aurea. I am so happy and let us thank God <clears throat> and let us pray together to Holy Spirit to help us in this event which is a big landmark. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I welcome all of you. Now, I'm not uh, taking your names, so you can see everybody. Uh, what a wonderful group from different parts of the world. This is the English session, but still, I like to mention Magno from Goa, Patricia from Bombay, and C.B. Joseph, Anthony, C.J., Lurley George from Goa, Nelson, anyway, the name is mentioned, but the place is not mentioned, so I'm not able to. Joe Smoan Abraham from, from New Jersey, Philip Joseph, I know Angelica from Germany, Chant Mulchandani, Judy Lois, happy Feast of Divine Mercy, yes, Julie. So, Shirley, Lynette, Swans, Christy Anthony, Lini Matthew, Rajesh, Thomas Sebastian, Susan, okay, and many others. Let us believe that the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit is the principal agent of mission. <clears throat> Let us pray to Holy Spirit that these mysteries which was revealed to the fathers of the church, the first century, second century, third century fathers of the church, the great <clears throat> Church Fathers, Saint Ambrose, Saint Jerome, Saint John Chrysostom, Saint Augustine, Saint Leo the Great, Saint Basil, Saint Aprim, Saint Remigius, Saint Hilarius, and it is all compiled by St. Thomas Aquinas. So, let us believe they are all <clears throat> looking at us from heaven. That is, centuries back, the work Holy Spirit has done in revealing the mystery of the gospel is now being used after such a great, so many centuries, nearly, nearly, 2,000 years after it is being used by a group of people here. So all these saints must be very happy. Let us thank and praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. It is my experience whenever I began to learn Katena Aurea, I prayed to all these saints because they are with us. 
So let us once again praise God and thank God for this possibility that the Holy Spirit, who is the minister, who leads the prime moving <coughs> power of the interpretation, evangelization, inspiration, the Holy Scriptures are inspired, inspired writings. It has not come from anybody's human idea or intellectual ability, but it is the word of God. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everybody who is now with us for this English section of this Bible study. Yes. So, my dear friends, <laughs> I am little... Uh, yes, it is... Only with the help of Holy Spirit we can we can understand the scripture. So <clears throat> Jesus said when he comes, the Holy Spirit, he will teach you everything and he will bring to memory about all what I spoke. So this is our big uh, privilege that the Holy Spirit will help us. So it is the Holy Spirit who revealed <coughs> to St. Thomas Aquinas. It was St. Thomas Aquinas is the greatest scholar, teacher, the doctor of the church and teacher and the interpreter and the theological, the works what he written Summa Theologica is the greatest work in the church with which all theologians are trained and the bishops and priests are all trained. Such a great theology <coughs> was commissioned by Pope Urban IV in the year 1263 around and then to commission, he commissioned to write or to collect and make a Bible commentary based on the commentary of the church fathers. So St. Thomas Aquinas, such a, a son of the mother church, a pet son, he is so much loving the church and he, he was doing everything every day for dedicated to the mother church. So this was one of his masterpiece work that he collected from the teachings and the interpretation of more than 80 church fathers and made a katena chain, golden chain. So katena Aurea means golden chain. Okay, now I don't give much explanation about this. This English translation of this was uh, made possible by <coughs> Cardinal Newman, who has become a saint now. It was translated by Cardinal Newman, and this is the best available commentary according to him. Of course, there are many other Bible commentaries, St. Jerome commentary, so many other Bible commentaries are there. But this commentary is not by St. Thomas Aquinas. This commentary is a collection of commentaries of St. Augustine, St. Ambrose, St. John Chrysostomos, St. Jerome. So many people's commentaries are knit together like a chain, golden chain. So, uh, it is not very difficult. If we put our heart fully into it, we will enjoy this. We will enjoy this. We will enjoy this. Okay, so, yeah, I am seeing every one of you and Okay, so shall we begin? So we once again take the blessing of all these church fathers and the saints 
and our dear father that is our holy father who always say who always refer to the church fathers who always refer to the church fathers in in gaudete exultate in one paragraph itself he said even before saint agustin the fathers of the church said then he quoted john chrysostom and saint basil so he 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 likes okay now coming to our subject <clears throat> first of all i have already posted to you a uh, four pages or few pages of the introduction first we are only learning the introduction so many people asked me how many chapters of the bible we will go through today so it is not so fast going method it is very slow and steady method so we are now <clears throat> in the introduction in the introduction of katena aurea st thomas aquinas has referred a beautiful passage from 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 isaiah chapter 40 isaiah chapter 40 so uh, it is not necessary you have to make any note or write anything or you have to even go through the text what you have i would i would recommend you don't do anything but you listen listen because then we are like <laughs> like those who are in the sermon on mount those who are in the mount sermon on mount they had nothing to scribble they had no paper no laptop no computer nothing they were writing everything in their heart so let us apply that method and at the same time i promise you the whole material will be available to you in another day or two days time the material what we are now or whatever is happening now will be in the youtube as a video and audio and we will make a text of this a writing test and it will it will reach you either through whatsapp or through some way so please don't uh, focus on writing or scribbling instead focus on listening because we have been <coughs> told in all these days listen and jesus said at the end of the sermon on mount who ever listen to these words and obey so this will be a new way when you focus on listening and asking the holy spirit to embed that in your heart then that will make much more important way so let us follow that type of a method okay now as an introductory as an introduction this beautiful passage of isaiah chapter 40 words 9 and 10 i would read also 11 <laughs> that is a beautiful introduction about what is gospel and who is an evangelizer so it says go up on to a high mountain sign herald of glad tidings cry out the cry out at the top of your voice jerusalem herald of good news fear not to cry out and say to the cities of juda here is your god here comes with power the lord god who rules by his strong arm here is here here is his reward with him his recompense before him so this is the first introduction which is shown in katena aurea to first explain what means gospel what is the meaning of the gospel so i would add word 11 also like a shepherd he feeds his flock in his arms he gathers the lamb carrying them in his bosom and leading leading the ewes with care <clears throat> so 
a compassionate God, God who is so compassionate and loving, such a God is our God. Okay. Now, now we will go to passage by passage from our from the text of the Kathenavraya. So I read this passage because we know the English translation, although it is done in the in the era of Cardinal Newman or say Newman still, it is in the style of the old English. Anyway, I will read out. Go up to the top of the mountain, thou that preach the glad tiding in Zion. Lift up thy voice with might, thou that preach in Jerusalem, cry aloud, fear not. Say to the cities of Judah, before you, behold your God, here comes your God. Lo, the Lord God shall come with power and his arm shall have dominion. His arm shall have dominion. He comes with power, the Lord God, who rules by his strong arm. That is what dominion. Lo, his reward is with him. Now, this one text which is very phenomenal about the good news and the proclamation of good news and what happens in the proclamation of good news everything is now being narrated or explained in the following texts one by one so first of all it says the prophet isaiah a manifest preacher of the gospel <laughs> briefly expressing the loftiness the name and the substance of the gospel doctrine addresses the evangelic teacher in the person of the Lord saying, go up to the top of the mountain. But to make our beginning with the title, the gospel, the gospel. Now, I think I have said this in this, even every word is explained. So the first explanation by St. Thomas Aquinas is what is the gospel? From where the word gospel began? So the first mentioning of the word gospel is from Isaiah chapter 40 is considered and so there the St. Thomas explained prophet Isaiah a manifest preacher uh, of the gospel. He is a great preacher of the gospel. Because uh, even Isaiah, Isaiah's book is considered as a, as a ghost, fifth gospel. He is the one in his in his uh, book. He is concentrating the Messiah's gospel. So we can see Jesus's public ministry. Many many of his preaching was exactly what was prophesied in the in what we say in the gospel of. Isaiah or rather Isaiah's uh, prophecy. So the prophet Isaiah, a manifest preacher of the gospel. This is what St. Thomas says. He is a preacher of the gospel. Who? Prophet Isaiah. He briefly expressing the, expressing the loftiness, the name. He is showing what is this gospel, the loftiness of gospel. In one or one or two words, in Isaiah 40, 9 and 10, he expressed the loftiness, that glorious aspect of the gospel and the very name, 
name and the substance of the gospel doctrine addresses the evangelic teacher in the person of the Lord. So he is proclaiming it as if it is said by the Lord. It is said by the Lord saying go up to the top of the mountain. This expression is very very special in in Isaiah's prophecy, many places he refer mountain, mountains, all that has many important meaning which we will be learning later on. Go. So this is the phenomenal go. Jesus many times said go. So this is not only Jesus' words, it is a word echoing. Throughout the prophecies, go up to the top of the mountain. Now we will have to learn what it means, top of the mountain. But to make, yeah, to make our beginning with the title, the gospel. So now from each interpreter, we are going to learn what is this gospel means? What does it mean by the word gospel? Now first, St. Augustine. St. Augustine says the word gospel or evangelium is rendered in Latin bonus nuncius or bona annunciatio, good news. It may indeed be used on all occasions whenever any good is announced. But so the word good news is a is a ordinary it was an ordinary word which was used to make any announcement, a good announcement. But it has been but it has come to the appropriated to the announcement of the Savior. So in Latin the word the word Evangelium Gospel is rendered in Latin bonus nuncius, that is the good news. But it but it has become phenomenal, it is reserved and occupied only about the announcement of the Savior. So whenever we say good news means now it is only relating to the Savior, that is those who have related to the incarnation, that is the birth of Jesus, the deeds, the words and sufferings of the Lord Jesus Christ are properly styled evangelists. So good news or gospel means it is not any good news but it is the it is the infra, it is those who have related to the birth deeds words and suffering of the Lord Jesus Christ are properly styled evangelists. That is good news. So gospel good news Evangelist means those is relating to the preaching of Jesus and his birth, his action and his passion and his resurrection. Now going more detail from John Chrysostomos. St. John Chrysostom's commentary is what is there that can equal these good tidings? So in, in Isaiah says, go up to the high mountain, Zion, herald of glad tidings. So what is, what is important? What is there that can equal these good tidings? Now it's a fantastic expression, <laughs> very unique teaching of John Chrysostom. He said, God on earth, man in heaven. <laughs> so what is the good news? 
in the most essence he says god on earth we know god is a god of abraham god of isaac god of jacob he is living in glory in heaven but what is the good news is that he has come he is on earth and then what happens what happened because of that man in heaven so just a <laughs> total change in the order god on earth man in heaven that long war is ceased reconciliation made between god and our nature the devil overthrown death abolished paradise opened these things so far beyond our merits are given us with all fullness not for our own toil or labor but because we are beloved of god now here is some time we have to spend in meditating of these things so saint john chrysostom says or from his commentary it is collected what is there that can equal this good tidings means is there anything in the whole universe which can equal to the holy gospel good news sometimes <coughs> people have a comparison sometimes people told me every every religion has their 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 holy scripture yeah so these are the place we have to learn their religion scripture is there is correct but we cannot compare that with the gospel gospel is not a book only it is not a book so here from catechism of catholic church paragraph 108 says 108 it is ours is not a book religion it is not a book religion christian faith is not a religion of the book christianity is the religion of the word of god a word which is not written and mute word but the word which is incarnate and living this is where the gospel has to be understood even among the rest of the holy scripture or it is uncomparable when people say oh i am studying comparative religion i don't agree with that because jesus has not come to make a religion he has come as a savior of the whole humanity and this words and his teaching we cannot compare because the gospel is the eternal living word that is god himself how can you compare so at the beginning itself st thomas aquinas quoting from such fathers expressing how important that we understand the intrinsic and depth of the of the heart of the gospel in the heart of the gospel it is god on earth man in heaven and so i continue here from the catechism the in the scriptures the scriptures are not to remain dead letter christ the eternal word of the living god must through the holy spirit open our minds to understand the scripture one more passage i would like to read is 131 in 131 says and such is the force and the power of the word of god that it can serve the church as her support 
and vigor and the children of the church as strength for their faith, food for the soul and a pure and lasting fond of spiritual life. Food for the soul and a pure and lasting fond of spiritual life. Hence, access to sacred scripture ought to be opened wide to Christian faithful. This is from 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 Diverbum in of Second Vatican Council in Diverbum. And then 133, the church forcefully and specially exhorts all the Christian faithful to learn the surpassing knowledge of Jesus Christ by frequent reading of the divine scriptures. Then the famous quote of Saint Jerome. Saint Jerome said, ignorance of the Holy Scripture is ignorance of Christ. So, <laughs> I am, uh, what is so special? What is there that can equal these gl glad tidings? Nothing. It is uncomparable. It is the mystery of God became man. Okay, so we continue. God on earth, man in heaven. That long war is ceased. So we still are thinking or we should not think that Jesus is going to conquer. Mother Mary is going to conquer. It, the victory is going to come. No. The victory has already accomplished. That long war is ceased. Reconciliation made between God and our nature. What is our nature? Our nature, although God created us in his own image and likeness, the man disobeyed God and has become fallen. So his nature become a fallen nature. Fallen nature. His will is a fallen nature. So generally, we know in very... In around us and even us has questions. All these questions from our reasoning, from our free will. That is, that free will is a gift of God. It is our nature. But this free will has a fallen nature. Therefore, the fallen nature of the free will or our reasoning has to be has to be illumined through faith through the gospel through the word of christ through the holy spirit then that is what he has done that the long war is ceased reconciliation reconciliation made between god and our nature Reconciliation made between God and our nature. So, good news is the mystery of that happening. God has reconciled us with the Father. I remember this Eucharistic prayer or one of the preface in the Eucharist, Latin rite Eucharist, Prayer is this, O Father, through O Lord Jesus Christ, through your incarnation, you reconciled us with the Father. Through your passion, you cancelled our sins. Through your resurrection, you gave us new life. And through your ascension, you opened heaven for us. Therefore, with all choirs of angels, we sing Osana. So, its gospel is the mystery of first the God on earth. 
God became man and man in heaven. And secondly, a long war is ceased. Gospel is a mystery and understanding of a great victory over a victory, a war is ceased. And thirdly, a reconciliation made between God and the nature of humanity. And then, fifth, fourth, the devil overthrown. The devil overthrown. This is very important we have to recognize. The devil overthrown. In paragraph Catechism 635, during these Easter days, we used to pray this or proclaim this, that by his death he conquered devil. 635, in paragraph 635, by, dis di di by dying, destroyed him who has the power of death. That is the devil. And delivered all those who through fear of death were subject to life-giving bondage. So, by Jesus' dying, he destroyed devil. Do you believe this? If you don't believe, then there is, there is no meaning in the gospel for us. <laughs> what is the good news that if the devil is still ruling the world? That is why this interpretation from the fathers of the church is very important. It is also connecting with the teaching of the Holy Catholic Church dogmatic teaching in the Catholic Catechism. The devil overthrown. Death abolished. There is no more death means the spiritually Jesus has conquered death. Dying now this is what Christ is risen from the dead. Dying he conquered death. To the dead he has given life. So by dying, he conquered death. So that is the good news. So this is an explanation by Saint John Chrysostomus. Uh, death abolished. And then what happened? Paradise opened. So I said it that by resurrection, he gave us new life. By his ascension, Paradise opened. So this is all in the good news. These things so far beyond our merits. All these things happen is all not because of any good thing we have done. These things so far beyond our merits are given us with all fullness. It is, but it is given to us in fullness. Not for our own toil or labor, but because, but because we are loved of God. We are the we are beloved of God. But because we are beloved of God, we are beloved of God. <laughs> we are children of God. God is our daddy. <sighs> Imagine. Those who have the introduction. Now, in this one paragraph, this is the beauty of the church fathers. They, they write the essence. Because they were, you know, it's certain things I am explaining. We are learning Bible. How we learn Bible? We learn Bible whenever we get, when all our work is over, we learn Bible. Now also maybe you may be working in the kitchen in between you are listening this. I don't mind but that way we cannot learn Bible. But since there is no other way at least that will help us. But these people like Saint Jerome, Saint John Chrysostom, Saint Ambrose, Saint Augustine they were they have dedicated 
day and night immersed in the Bible. <laughs> immersed in the Bible. So St. Jerome spent more than 25 years in Jerusalem living in caves with the local people with their sufferings and with their passion mingled with them and he learned the Bible. One day somebody telephoned me said they have no electricity for three days. Then I said praise the Lord. Why? Then I said that means you are like St. Jerome. You have, you are in, sitting in a cave with some candlelight, you can read. So then only we imagine how these people learned the Bible. There was no electricity. There was no light like this. How they learned all these things? <laughs> with uh, with uh, such uh, uh, torches or... Okay, anyway. Now, next comes Saint Augustine, a hero. A, 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 a genius of this interpretation, a genius, St. Augustine. Whereas, now he says, whereas God in many ways healed the souls of men, according to the times and the seasons which are ordained by his marvelous wisdom, yet has he in no way more beneficently provided for the human race than when the very wisdom of God, the only son of one substance and co-eternal with the Father, stooped to take upon him perfect man. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us Hereby he made manifest how high a place among the creatures had human nature in that he appeared to men as very man. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, <sighs> thank you, thank you, thank you. My dear friends, so St. Augustine, a wonderful <laughs> Whereas God in many ways heals the souls of men. Not only Catholics, to the whole humanity, many ways, many ways. I remember some time back a woman in our retreat got up and said, Thomas Paul, my name is and so, and so <clears throat> I was a Hindu. Nobody spoke to me about Jesus, not in a radio or in a... One day night, I saw somebody standing near me. I was shocked and I got up a beautiful, glorious, light-filled situation. Then, then that person said, I am Jesus. I love you. <laughs> and then he began to teach me everything. That is how I became a Christian. Imagine. There are so many ways. So whereas God in many ways heals the souls of men. Let us understand that. Many ways. That's why Jesus said, in John chapter 3, to the discussion with Nicodemus, he said, the wind blows as it wills. This is also explained by John, St. John, St. John Paul II in Redemptoris Missio. In the very first chapter itself, Redemptoris Missio says, the numerous ways God brings salvation. And the very word there was referring was John chapter 1, verse 9. John chapter 1, John chapter 1, verse 9 says, The true light which enlightened every one was coming. The true light which enlightens every one or every human being was coming to the world.
John's Gospel, chapter 1, 9. The true light which enlightens everyone was coming into the world. So that is the gospel, that is Jesus. So whereas God in many ways, so first of all, we have to have such a, a broad understanding of God's, God's ways, that God in many ways, many ways, heals the souls of men according to the times and the seasons which are ordained by, by his marvelous wisdom. We cannot say why God did to this woman like this. We cannot ask God why you did like this. His marvelous wisdom. See, Saint Augustine's. Now he is explaining a phenomenal expression, yet has he in no way more beneficently provided for human race than. So, the way God has provided, okay, let me read, <laughs> we cannot explain that. Marvelous, his marvelous wisdom, yet has he in no way more beneficently provided for the human race than when the very wisdom of God, the only Son, this is very dear to me because this is how I grasped that Jesus, who is Jesus? He is the wisdom of God. He is the wisdom and power of God. Saint Paul is another, like another Saint Augustine. Saint Paul is a, Saint Paul says in First Corinthians chapter 1, 24, that Christ is the wisdom and power of God. And in the same chapter, word 30 says, it is due to him that you are in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God. Christ, he became for us wisdom from God. So here St. Augustine says, and when the very wisdom of God, the only Son, now he is explaining how the sun is beautifully, magnificently related to the father. The only son of one substance. One substance. The son, but he is one substance with the father. <laughs> and co-eternal with the father. Stoop to take upon him perfect man and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us that is the heart of the good news hereby hereby he made manifest how high a place among creatures had human nature in that he appeared to men as very bad so by this God's wisdom in the sun came down in the nature of a human being, glorified the humanity that gave such a high place for the human race that he appeared to men as very man. He became man like any one of us but he, in essence, is co-eternal with the Father. So, my dear friends, uh, I think I will conclude this today now. Let us thank God in these few words. We are trying to understand what is the very word meaning of gospel. Gospel. I tell you, it took many days for me to read this introduction itself. So we are not hurrying. Let us go by word by word as Saint Augustine, along with Saint Augustine, Saint John Chrysostom, Saint Remigius, Saint Hilarius, Saint Athanasius, with them and guided by Saint Thomas Aquinas. Let us 
today thank god what a mystery what a big mystery that god in earth man in heaven let us recognize the greatness of this mystery of the gospel the very word gospel and the mystery hidden in that oh holy spirit i thank and praise all those who are listening this oh holy spirit we cannot understand this unless you work in our heart unless you write with your spirit in our heart that is the new testament oh lord holy spirit jesus said he will lead you to all the truth so we believe these words what we have learned this may be written in our heart embedded in our heart and it changes our life and it illumines our 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 reasons it illumines our reasons and our human understandings and bring 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 wisdom and change in our nature thank you holy spirit thank you holy spirit thank you jesus praise the lord and i thank all of you uh, i have no words i am so excited so many of you have turned for this sorry you are welcome to write your suggestion your questions your doubts personally to my whatsapp number 0091 944 Seven one nine six zero three three. I only read it personally, and I will consider. I will certain things if it is important that I must speak here. I will speak. Otherwise, I will answer you personally. Also, thank you very much. Uh, we are not making a public debate because this is beyond our debate. You know, this is beyond our debate. Thank you God bless you now soon we are beginning the next session in Malayalam in Malayalam Malayalam thank you God bless you